So we're here with Brenda. Um, how long have you been working out? Uh, six years plus. Sweet. And you're a personal trainer. I am. So you know all about your body and how to get sore and everything. Okay. I do. Let's look at, just look at that camera right there. Now, as we can see, you can see how that right hip is just a little bit higher than the left hip. We're going to showcase this in a little bit later on. So as you lay down, you can see how your right hip's still a little bit higher. And then what you'll notice is you have some soreness right here. Mm-hmm. And let's check your hamstrings. This hamstring's not too bad. This hamstring's definitely tight. So what we consider with her, we think she's uh, tighter on the right side. So. Agreed. Yeah, that's going to be cool. We're going to... We're going to see the effects of that later. So you worked out your legs really good. On, a, on, on 10 being the worst to zero, where are you at right now? An eight. An eight? So your legs are like jello? Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do now, do a little squat though first. Yeah, just a little one. All right, how does that feel now on your legs? They don't feel so jelly. They don't feel so jelly? Now just do a little squat for me. How does that feel that time? They're tight, but they're not like it was. That's weird. Now what's your number now? You were at an eight. Like a five? Like a five, four, four, five. Four, five. So how are those legs right now? It's been probably a couple minutes. I mean, I can go back and get on the bike. You can go back and get on the bike? Yeah. So what's your number at right now? Two. A two? So it went from like a 10 to a two and two, three minutes? Yeah. So look that way too. Um, so as we can see right here, we can see that her hips are right across from each other. Now, does, can you tell that my hands are right on top of your hips? Yeah. Okay. So now we see that her hips are right across each other. Earlier, one hip was a little bit higher than the other one. And so what that's going to do is that's going to enable her to have a better workout. It's going to enable the blood to get through there. It's less likely to injure yourself. Um, there, there's a lot of benefit from that. Um, especially with athletes and moving forward. Can I add something? Absolutely. I have a ab ad abductor and groin injury, yeah. and it's not hurting my neck. Yeah, your abductor and groin injury just oh, went away? Yeah, like it seriously doesn't hurt at all. Yeah, so what happens is we're on the right side. Uh -huh. Yeah, so when that right hip is higher, that's why she's pulling in that abductor. So when she puts the shirt on, not only does it give her soreness away, but when that hip levels off, it takes all the pressure off that abductor. And so it's no surprise that your abductors went right away. Yeah. We already highlighted your hips, so now your hips right across. Now remember how you were uh, tight on the right side in the muscles earlier when I poked on you? How's that feel now? Completely fine. No, no pain at all? None. How about there? None. You're not even jumping? No. And I'm, I mean, I'm poking on you. I jumped last time. Yeah, you, you did very well. And then your right hamstring was tight as well. Anything? Now you just worked out your legs and your hamstring's not tight. And it's probably been less than 10 minutes or so. And where's your soreness at now? Uh, <laughs> and on a level, I'm sorry, on a level uh, from like a number from 10 to uh, zero, where's your soreness at now? Like a one or a two. Like a one or a two. And earlier you were at a... Eight. You, so you jump off the bike, you're an eight, and 10 minutes later you're at a one or a two. Right. Okay. Awesome. Anything else you want me to say? 